Hello, ladies, gents, and all my surrogate children. I return once more to the daunting task of finishing the daily challenge at the very top of the leaderboard. It is going to happen. It's absolutely going to happen. This claimer, it may not happen ever. <laughs> it really is one of those tasks that may very well be outside of the purview of my entire gaming career it is that hard because their you had to be so damn special to be like uh, set the task for himself to make literally the hardest roguelike ever conceived and you might think of other roguelikes that are diffi more difficult to play beat by beat right they will be far more higher far higher uh, skill ceilings on the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, but the sustained challenge, the sheer... I was, I was so just confused right now. Why? I think it's the light from from the shop. It's like, why does the snake have a 5, a, a five o'clock shadow? <laughs> it's like uh, um, the uh, hardened snake that has seen some shit, you know? Poor, poor snake, but no, he was getting unnaturally illuminated, you piece of trash, stupid ass mole, piece of garbage, I hate you. Uh, unnaturally illuminated by the shopkeeper's shop. Once again, the policy is never to actually get the shopkeepers mad enough that they will constantly haunt me. I will just, you know, piss him off a little bit, just a little. One rope is fine. Could have maybe used a... Uh, you son of a bitch. You garbage mole. Uh, already I have five in my pocket, right? This is impossible. This is impossible. Another... I can't believe the rope quotient of this situation. Absolutely annoying as hell. Get me that over there. But we're... I think I didn't finish that entire thought. Where scope is concerned, it's just insane. The level of challenge. I only have one rope left. Uh, if there's something to pick up from this present box, it will totally screw up my shotgun pickup. I accept this fate. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> it will do this to me. Oh, man. Do I want to take the... One in five of telefragging this son of a bitch? Or do I just cut my losses? And, uh... Just leave without a shotgun? I think we both know the answer to this question. Let me just leave with this teleporter. And just hope that everything turns out okay. Everything's gonna be fine, <laughs> this teleporter. Oh, this is definitely going to be the key to my success. No, let me just put it... In the garbage where it belongs. I would love to telefrag Antonio Banderas, though. That would fill me with joy. Correct. It would fill me with joy to teleport inside of this man's body and explode him. But I don't think that's going to happen. And in fact, he's just not even reachable. All right, just leave the teleporter behind. It's a piece of trash that we are just completely unable to use properly. Is basically asking for trouble. If I carry this in my hand, the arrow will not hit me, right? Yeah, that's how it be. That's how it be. That never changed. You check out my incredible deep knowledge of the Spelunky 2 mechanics. Amazing. Anyway, there's going to be a very, very ordinary shopkeeper at the exit here. And he's kind of a massive pain in my asshole. I think we want to spend a bomb to get a nice little shortcut there to the exit. Unfortunately, if I drop here, there is no going back. And I accept that fate, but maybe we can get the dam- no, the damsel slash hamster is right down there. But he should get, get, be getting punched pretty hard. I am a, a absolute buffoon, and now I need to spend another rope to get around this situation. Let me spend it but to be able to trigger that. And then we go back. So uh, hopefully he gets punched forever. This is a mistake. A mistake has been made. 
Never mind. He just gets punched forever. It's all right. It's, it's all good. Come on, bud. You need... You need to get yourself killed. In front of my face. That will be great. We, okay. All right. this, this works. Idiot. <laughs> Played like a fiddle. What an absolute moron. Uh, it's been a bomb to get a potential bomb. Sure. Let's get it done, buddy. Just get it done. It's a parachute. <laughs> How wonderful. Nothing bad will happen here. Don't worry about it. The arrow will kill the spider and it will not throw in the spikes. So how it'll work? Told you. Told you. What I don't have in skill, I make up for knowledge of how things play out. It's almost precognition. Why would I open it up that way? Eh, okay, whatever. What's the worst that can happen? We just use a bomb to get to the other side. Psh! Don't give a damn. Give me this. Because we do want the money, but as I have established, getting money in dwellings is chump change. It is absolute trash. All that you want the money for at the start is to be able to afford all the things that are coming. No, that is not the way I, I need to play this. We need to do something like so. Get this cat to go all the way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing that you just witness. That is indeed a thing that just happened. It's fine. Because we're going to let go of the shotgun for the bow. So we don't care about that shotgun. That shotgun was defective. It was about to blow up in my face. So I am glad to leave it behind before the defect comes to pass. And I get absolutely destroyed. So uh, it was all part of the plan. Is there anything of worth over there? No, absolutely nothing. Just trash. So remember, we have the cape. Very nice to have. This is uh, just a nightmare on that side. No real way to free Van's horse face. Gonna do an attempt. You know, it would be nice to get it done. Always uh, have. Always nice to have a surefire kill on that Vlad piece of scum. That uh, you sell absolute garbage, sir. Not even this compass is going to go into my pocket. I don't want to spend the money. I'm too damn stingy. You don't deserve my patronage. So, I can't really go back. Like, wow, this daily challenge is just absolute trash garbage, isn't it? Where resources are concerned, it is just awful. The level of ass of the resource getting, but it's alright. It's just all building up for the future. Is going to be so much better. It's going to be so much better when we get to Tide Pool and then Madame Tusk is going to have the most amazing set of items in her shop. Oh man, what a fortuitous bow find. Very nice. At least we got a few bombs to get us going. If nothing else, that is enough bombs to get through the shortcut. For the Ankh in the place. Let's continue digging down. I was hoping to get a freaking a freaking crate over here. It's just just not even the chest. Everything sucks ass. All right, well, it's okay. We just have to persevere. We just need to get to the get to the point where uh, all resources will be made trivial by a clone gun. Go down there with much care. We are very cautious individuals. Do one of these. Absolutely nothing down here, huh? Just a roasted scumbag getting absolutely destroyed. Cali will be great. There, there is a number of things that will really appreciate <laughs> this. This entire seed is just so bereft of anything of value. All right. Well, this was a nightmare of a drill. We'll just have to make it work. Recently posted a quick PSA. And it really was a PSA. Because... Do you know? Do you know that the music in Quake... If you want to call it music. Because it's just literally some moaning string instruments. 
that makes zero melody. It's this ambient, awful thing, but it's actually a Nine Inch Nails track. It's a Nine Inch Nails track that is 100% copyrighted. And I was like, I have two options. Well, I have three options. YouTube allows you with their incredible AI editing tool, they allow you to um, edit out the song without destroying your audio, but it does destroy your audio. It, 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 like you can still understand it, but it becomes this tinny, awful garbage. And I was like, I don't want that. So I, I declined after hearing the sample. I was like, all right, that's not going to be a thing. This is just awful. <laughs> this is the only challenge. The entirety of it is just trash. I hate it. So they don't want to do that. Uh, option number two was to re-record the video, which would have been a, a big deal. It's not like I said anything incredibly amazing during the duration of it. I could have just re-recorded and be able to monetize it that way with no music at the start. And that kind of annoyed me because it's like the music is a very part, big part of the ambience of Quake. So I figure, you know what? Just whatever. Just take my monetization. What am I gonna get out of this video? Not really that much. Maybe ten dollars if it, uh, if it does okay. What? What is this? What is this? There's no way up. Derek, Derek, you have to fix this. There has to be always a way up. What a disappointment. Get rid of you. Uh, how about you take an arrow for me? Well done. You have proven your loyalty. I may not instantly murder you in the future. Honestly, you're too much heat to handle. Okay, well, you, you do the battle down there. I'm sure that nothing terrible will happen to me if I leave you roaming around. Nothing bad will happen to me. All right, let's go the roundabout way. Okay, <laughs> not getting fire arrowed. We never freed Van Horseface. I don't want to use a rope. So we are shooting you. Like so. Very nice. All right, all right. Ooh, that is fortuitous. Um, give me a skull. That arrow will do. This'll do. Go over there. So it truly was quick PSA. Public service announcement for free for you. Zero ads attached. You have to play Quake. Oh. I had already tried it. The, the remake. Not the remake. The remaster that they did. And I knew it was good. But I saw it on the game list. I was like, you know what? Let me boot it up. I went... What the... I went through the entirety of the video game. It was... So great. Quake is now finished. I, it was like this thorn at my side. Said, knowing that I had never finished such an awesome classic. Maybe I was 13 when it came out. I haven't done the math. Maybe I was 13 when it came out. Did not appreciate it at the time. Liked it and all. It was also kind of scary at the time. And I was a big pussy. So I wouldn't... Wow, what a <laughs> amazing... Amazing show skill right there. So, you know, it wasn't something that I pushed myself to play way back then. So now that gamer cred has been attained. What the hell, man? <laughs> that was a nightmare to witness. All right, we got to Olmec. Kali just doesn't want to show. Was Kali at the top? It doesn't matter because I have two ropes and no way to get back there. So, I guess we go through the exit and visit Olmec. Hello, piece of trash. Let me just quickly go down here. We're not going to use the shortcut because uh, I need to conserve my explosives. So anyway, finish that boomer shooter, and I'm still I'm still with the itch of more boomer shooter goodness. There was many recommendations for Dusk, which I also tried and ooh, never actually played more than a few minutes way way back there was also another one there's a uh, a few boomer shooters that came fairly close to one another 
There was Dusk, and then there was a follow-up. I, th I think it was the same developers. And they are all, like, really good stuff. What's going on here? Am I, am I dumb? There you are. That is the way you want. 